The CIS Battalion is part of one German Netherlands Corps, which in turn forms part of NATO's High Readiness Force Land Headquarters. Stationed in Eibergen and Garderen in the Netherlands and in Munster in Germany, the CIS Battalion is responsible for providing communication and information systems for the Corps, both in peacetime and during deployments. Good planning is critical to the success of any mission, as any later changes will take a great deal of effort. Once the network to be built has been fully mapped out, its components have to be primed and staged. Because each network is different, the servers, switches and computers all have to be configured with the right settings, starting from scratch. We are preparing everything that uh, if the user comes into the, into the system that he will directly is prepared to work with all the things what he needs to do. With all preparations made, the CIS battalion is ready to deploy and to start building a rapid CIS element, or race. Generators are first set up to provide power to the servers and back office, which are at the heart of the network. Now the cable group is ready to start connecting the main network components with fiber optic cable. At the same time, SATCOM trailers are positioned to make connections further afield and to provide a backup. My job is to, uh, to, uh, to make the communication with the satellite and that's the, how do you say that, the wide area network that we, uh, that we build up. And uh, with this, uh, they can uh, use the telephones and they can communicate. So if that's a backup, so when the lines are down, we can use the subcom. To connect all telephones and computers in buildings and tents, many kilometers of cabling have to be laid in such a way to allow for easy fault finding. With cabling finished, help desk personnel will install the necessary hardware for users. They'll also set up an internet cafe to allow users to access the World Wide Web. Help desk Private Bernie, how can I help you? If at any time users need any support with their hardware or software, they can contact the help desk. Uh, they are most likely responsible for being the first contact of line with the users. So if they encounter any problems concerning their accounts, concerning passwords, concerning hardware, or the network itself, they approach the help desk, they will open up a ticket, and this ticket will be worked on throughout the race and the battalion, and then will be sent back so the user's problem can be solved as quick as possible. The help desk can provide solutions to most problems, but when big issues are raised, they'll pass on a ticket to the back office, where qualified network managers can remotely dive deep into the servers to look for a solution. Throughout every operation, staff at the mobile CIS control center are constantly monitoring the network and the services and can assist the network managers if needed. The battalion is able to ensure that troops on any operation are provided with near real-time information about their mission and state-of-the-art communications between themselves and the world at large, quickly and efficiently, anywhere, anytime. CIS, a dedicated and highly skilled team of communications experts who are proud to deliver a vital service to the German Netherlands Corps and to NATO.